Phoebe, let's just take it all the way back to your first days of playing football. What can you remember? Um, well, my, my first team was um, a, a local grassroots team, a boys team. I joined when I was six, I think. I probably got into football because of my sister. She played for Stoke um, ever since she was little. She even played for the women. And um, I've actually got a picture from she, when she was a mascot for the women and I was maybe two years old and uh, yeah, had a ball at my feet, had the, the full kit on, but yeah, really enjoyable moment. And then obviously you moved into playing football at school. What was that experience like? Um, yeah, I, uh, in primary school, I played football for the, the boys team. Um, they treated me like a boy, especially the opposition. They did still get stuck in, but um, yeah, really enjoyable. Talking to boys, I think you attended the same school as Emre Tezgal. Did you ever come up against him? Um, never against him, thank God. I was always on, on his team. But um, yeah, he was the year above me at primary school. And um, I remember we um, went to a tournament together and um, I think we won it. Matt scored the winner. I think he got the assist. It would be probably the, the other way around nowadays, but yeah. How did you first come to, to join the regional talent club here at Stoke City? Um, well, I... Um, Went for a trial for the under nines and um, got in and have been here ever since. Since you started, how's the RTC helped you in terms of your footballing journey? Well, they've always pushed me. Like since I was 12, they pushed me up into under 14s, um, played for them, and yeah, I've been playing up in age for quite a few years. But this is my first year being with the right age age group with the under 16s. Are there any standout moments from your time with the RTC? I'd probably say like making my debut for the under 16s when I was only 13 because um, I was I went down to Bristol because I was supposed to have been playing for the under 14s but our game got cancelled and because I was down there um, Andy the technical director decided that he thought I was good enough to play for the under 16s but I didn't expect much game time, maybe 10, 15 minutes, but I ended up getting a, a 70 minutes, which is quite good. Is it quite difficult trying to balance your educational and footballing commitments? Um, it can be, can be, especially this year. Um, I've obviously got my GCSEs at the end of the year, but teachers are really supportive um, and I, I do manage to do my homework and stuff, so yeah, not too bad. Just talk to us about your first international cap. What was that like and what can you remember? Um, it was against uh, Wales in a friendly. And uh, I remember being super nervous, but um, as, soon as, as soon as the ref blew the whistle, it was just like any other game, just football, the same football I've been playing my whole life, so. I think you've got a shirt from, from that first yeah. cap. I mean, do you take great pride in that, I suspect? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, brings back all the memories from the game, but um, yeah, just getting to put on, put on the England kit, representing um, your country, it's, yeah, it's a special feeling. And then I think since then you captained the side against the Netherlands again, we've got a bit of memorabilia from yeah, that day. So I, um, we had a tournament recently against three other nations, so it was Italy, Germany and the Netherlands. and. Um, yeah, I was chosen to be captain against the Netherlands. Very, very proud moment to represent the country, but also Stoke. And in terms of the long term, what are your ambitions in terms of being a footballer? Um, I think I'd really love to continue on the England pathway, going through all the the age groups and um, eventually maybe the seniors. Um, and then club-wise, maybe like a, a WSL club would be the dream. Yeah.